Alrighty then. Obviously, I could never beat Picasso. Let me just take this away. Right. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It is a Tuesday. I mean, it's a Friday. Where's my brains at? And it's 2 p.m. But I was trying to draw something really, really nice so that you can share this when we start. <laughs> Great stuff. My name is Prosper Tarovinga, and I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, where we help digital entrepreneurs like yourself to start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable and today i'm going to be talking to the younger version of you or the younger person in you or that older guy that doesn't understand anything called reverse mentoring okay trish is there how are you doing my love I thought you drowned in that um, bath uh, um, you, you, you took and I never saw you this whole week. But I like it. You know why? Because that means you are busy. Are you happy for the weekend? Are you excited that, um, you know, it's the weekend now and, you know, you've probably had a really, really good week? Audric Madeira, how's it going, champion? All right. So what I'm talking about today is a new concept. Very new to a lot of people, but very old if you start listening to it, okay? It's called reverse mentoring, okay? Um, go to the days, guys, where mentoring um, used to be a one-way street that involved a guy with a really thick beard and gray hair and, you know, was standing in front of you with a chalk or some sort of placard and telling you what to do, okay? It, 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 it's, it doesn't work like that anymore. Now, Trish says, busy, busy girl over here, and I'm so looking forward to the weekend. You better, you bet, you bet it's going to be a fantastic one. You know what? And I know you've done a lot of stuff, and you deserve it, okay? So I'm talking about reverse mentor mentoring, guys. It's a concept that... I think a lot of younger people really need to jump on board of, okay? I think it's a concept that a lot of people really need to, to, to adopt, okay? Gone are those days where, um, you know, mentoring used to be just the older guys that are looking down on younger people. A lot of bigger executives, a lot of older executives do not know how to use social media, period. Okay, Theodore, thank you so much for tuning in. Your profile picture, dude, it's a funny guy that looks sad, and I don't know how, how you do it. And Philip, Philip, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're gonna be um gonna I hope you're gonna find this one uh, fantastic. Okay, so yesterday, if you were watching, I talked about how your life story and your experience can actually be of importance and market value better than you can probably think of, okay? Your life story and your experience, no matter how old you are right now, somebody might get a lesson, a valuable lesson from it, all right? So the way the whole system that we grew up on is we would learn a lot of stuff from people that are older than us, but... The new paradigm that's on there is older people really want to learn new skills from younger people. Now, if you're a younger person, I want to equip you with, um, you know, the, 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 the idea that you too can go out there and actually find all the people that need to be coached on social media, that need to be coached on, um, you know, anything else to do with how millennials think and anything else to do with the way of doing business right now. Okay, so that's one thing that a lot of people can actually gain from you. That's one thing that a lot of people are willing but are too proud to let anybody know. But if you position yourself as that person who's capable of showing all the guys how to actually business online, how to actually con con um, get in touch with um, new newer systems, how to actually um, you know reach millennials you will actually make it and crack open a whole big can of worms that a lot of bigger business people are failing to close right this moment. Matthew, thank you so much for tuning in, okay? So there's a lot of senior executives that I speak to that, you know, things that come in first language to me, things that I think are 
a given. They have no idea how we do it. And there rises an opportunity for you as a young, you know, entrepreneur that needs to learn how to do business. You can actually seek out those people that are already in all the businesses and reverse mentor them so they can learn something from you while you are actually learning something from them. Okay, if you put your ego away and if you really approach people with the authority that you have within you, the knowledge that you've been gathering, I know every one of you guys, I know every one of you guys has been studying, reading all the blogs, all the books that are being thrown in front of us or behind us. We have all this knowledge that we're waiting to impart onto our business. But guess what? It might not happen within your business, but you might have instant results by actually helping somebody who's already in business. Okay? You can now then from there get reviews. You can now get from there, um, you know, all the things that might help you then move on with your business without having tried, without having used a lot of money because all the older businesses already have a budget. So you can experiment on those things while you're using somebody else's business. And that's a thing that's actually there. All right. So right now, stop thinking that you're going to need somebody to put you on. Stop thinking that you're going to need somebody to, to come and knock on your house's door and say, Hey, Prosper, listen, um, would you like to speak for us or would you like to show us how you're doing your stuff? Look out for people that are doing it wrong. Show them that it's possible. Show them that you can do it and then organize that you can reverse mentor each other. All right. There's no way in you holding on to a, a business that's not functioning right now because it does take time. It will take time for people to know you. But, you know, somebody else who is out there already um, has already got a business that's been well established for 15 years. They don't have time to learn Snapchat. They don't have time to learn stories. They don't have time to learn Instagram, yada, yada, yada. So you come in as that executive that's actually working and learning at the same time so that you can experiment. You fail fast using other people's businesses. And in the process, they're learning something from you. Thank you so much, Nicole, for tuning in. Okay, so I think it was in 1999. This is not a new concept. It's actually a very, very old concept. In 1999, a fellow by the name Jack Welsh, those that are skeptical can um, look this up. He was a former chief of uh, GE Electric. So what he did was things were not working because after the year 2000, you know, a lot of things changed within the computers. Computers had to be, uh, you know, recalibrated or if that was a marketing gimmick, I don't know. There was a whole thing that was called Y2K compliance. And what he did was he went in and then he reverse engineered what was happening within his company. He then partnered all the chief executives with all the lower ranking, um, you know, um, younger boys. You know why? Because then they would teach the older executives how to actually use computers. Okay, so things that we're doing every single day, you know, taking photos, snapping or whatever it is, people that are baby boomers or people that are older than us that actually run about, um, you know, that actually run businesses, they don't know how to do it. Okay, so in, 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 in the whole, um, you know, essence of you trying to learn how to run your own business, why not partner with an already established business? They learn from you how you do your everyday stuff, which comes easy for you while you're actually learning how to run a corporation. That way, you now have a lot more motivation. You now are, you know, amongst the people that can actually help you be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Guys, we are living in, an, in, in, in a time and in a, in a space where anything is possible. You don't need anyone to put you on stage. All right. Whatever you have been working on, whatever your lifetime experience, whatever your, um, you know, uh, value that you can bring in your stories, all of those have importance and they have market value than you can probably ever imagine right now. There's a lot of businesses that can't even Facebook, but they are on Facebook and they have budgets. 
All right, you can go in there as you know the reverse mentor and then start helping them. In the process, you get to see their systems. In the process, you get to see how everything is done. All right. So at the end of the day, I think you would have noticed yesterday, um, Facebook went across the two billion mark. All right. All the executives are you know scratching their heads right now. All the executives are really thinking, how do we reach all to those 2 billion people? And there you are as a millennial, you've got 5,000 people that are your friends on your Facebook. You know how to interact with every one of them. You know how to do Facebook lives like this. You know how to actually Snapchat. You know how to do LinkedIn and all those other social medias that these 500 fortune, fortune company guys don't know how to do. So if you would just swap and do a stock exchange, you give them whatever new latest shiny object knowledge that you have and they give you the know-how of exactly how to run a business and to actually make real money. Now, isn't that a win-win? So a lot of us are really waiting to be put on while we actually do have the power. We actually have the knowledge. We've been reading a lot. I mean, there's books that we are actually getting paid to have. I don't know if that is still happening. And I think Ty Lopez is paying people money just for him, for, for, for them to follow him, etc., etc. There's a lot that's happening online that we are just... You know, maybe we're just clouded with the vision of, oh, I just want this to work. Oh, I just want this to work. What if you actually help somebody who is already established to get their thing to work? And once you do do that, you don't need to be put on. Now, can you imagine you just being somebody who's just starting up, already having, um, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, already having testimonials from really, really big companies, even if you did not exchange money. But if you have people that are already established talking about you or praising your name, your business or anything else to come along with it, do you think that is not social proof enough? All right. So, I mean, maybe I want to talk to the people that are not lazy. I want to talk to the people that really, really want this. OK, I want to talk to the people that want to create companies that will be talked about at a barbecue every single weekend. This is how it's done. And I've done it with a couple of other big boys that, you know, you, you see them in the city there. You were like, whoa, that those guys are driving flashy cars. They're smoking cigars with their boys every single day. And then you see me just hanging in there. I've got no money. I've got no, no, I mean, the, the kind of money they have. You know what I mean? I've got no um, status amongst them, but because of my knowledge and my know-how, I'm invited to those parties and I'm now amongst them. Because it's going to be hard for you to try and be like, hey, listen, can I do this for you? Nobody wants that because they already think they're good. But if you go in and show them the value and say, hey, listen, buddy, you're doing this wrong. This is what you could do. You could do this, you could do that. You could be on this platform. This is how you connect. And when you connect, this is how millennials are doing business, etc." Can you imagine if that sort of mentality goes in and you start changing the way they business, you start changing their bottom line. Whoa, buddy. All right. See, all this, all this whole thing it reminds me of a story that I heard when I was a, a little boy. Um, so there's this guy, and uh, I don't know if you guys grew up in the era where um, you know your dad would read a newspaper on Saturday and doesn't want to be disturbed. So Saturday is a weekend. Also, kids are not going to school, and then this guy here um, has has a 12-year-old uh, little boy, and he just bought him a bicycle just to get him out of his hair. So this um, little boy um, wants time with his dad because you know what? Dad is always busy. Dad was working in an industry. He would leave work at, um, I mean, he would leave home at 5 a.m. and come back home when little Joni was already sleepy. And only the weekends was the time that, he, you know, he could spend time with his dad. And daddy also wanted that time to just chill out and relax. You know what I mean? So back in that time, he used the newspaper as an escape. Today, he could be using a phone to just escape, um, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff, okay? So, what did Daddy do now? Little Johnny is like, Daddy, I want to go play outside with our new bike. Please, please, can we go outside and play? And Daddy is so lazy. He's comfortable in his chair. He's got his coffee, his newspaper. And then one of the pages of the newspaper was a picture of the world. 
Okay, a picture of the whole the whole world, and Daddy's like, okay, I think I'm smart enough. And then Daddy tears out the picture of the world and says to Johnny, Johnny, if you can put back together the piece of, um, I mean, the, the the whole picture of this world, I'm creating a puzzle for you. If you can put it together, as soon as you finish, we go outside and play. All right. So little Johnny gets all the, and then Daddy rips um, the, 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 the the that page and then puts it on a table. And little Johnny is like, you know what? I really want to play. I'm dedicated. I really want to go out and play with Daddy. So let me do this as quickly as possible. So little Johnny puts together the pieces and one piece falls down. All right. And then he shakes down. Um, and then he looks uh, he looks um, at the ground, only to realize that at the back of the newspaper was a f- picture of the face of a man. Okay, so little Johnny just goes and flips that all those torn pieces and starts putting together the picture of the, the, the face of the man. Okay, and in five minutes he goes to daddy and says, daddy, I'm finished. There we go. All right, and daddy is surprised and is wondering, how did this all happen? And, little, and then he asks little Johnny, little Johnny, how did you do this? And little Johnny says, you know what? I looked at the picture and then I saw at the back was a picture of the man. All I had to do was to put the, pe- the pieces um, together so that the face of the man comes up and automatically the world just took shape. All right. So the dad was astonished. He thought he... He had it all figured out. He thought he had it all mapped out. But little Johnny had a simpler way. Little Johnny had a faster way. Little Johnny had a way to actually beat the system. Which is exactly what we have. We've got the internet. We grew up with the internet. My dad grew up in a scenario where there was one phone in the house that had only four numbers. Two, four, three, five. I remember those numbers. All right. And if somebody would ring the house, he would um, go in and pick up the phone. Two, four, three, five. This is George Taruinga. You know, and he was excited about it. But right now we, we have grown up in a scenario where every single person within the household has a phone you know, my little girl is only two, but she already has her own mobile that she watches Peppa Pig on. All right. So we are growing up in a totally different environment than the older guys did. And we've got newer ideas. We've got newer ways of fixing this. We got this, guys. If you are younger, if you're anything under 35 and your business is not working right now. All right. If your business is not working right now, first of all, share this video. All right. And second of all, get your butt up. And start looking for people that might need your, your, your expertise. Okay? I mean, at the end of the day, it will take time up until you have gathered, you know, the right kind of people to follow you. You've gathered, you know, the, the, the industry credit. But it, while you're working with people that have already established themselves, it's easier, right? For you to to test some things with people that already have a budget. Yeah? Alright, so you can also look for people that can be influencers within your niche. Find out how they're doing it. Find out, you know, how they're actually running their business. Yeah? There's a lot of ways that, you know, business people are looking on how to actually integrate younger mentors like yourself, all right? Because now there's there's what is called workplace culture. They don't know how to communicate with younger people. You can go in and teach them how to speak young, okay? So, you know, by disrupting this whole traditional mentoring and relationships, business leaders are actually breaking down all those long-standing traditional barriers. You know, all that, that hierarchy is not present in everyday startups. And the older guys are surprised as to how that is possible. They want to maintain all the stuff that they've taught. They don't want to keep wasting money on, on, on recruiting people that are going to run away because of the workplace culture. You could go in maybe every Friday or every Thursday and look at what's not working with that within that business and you can reverse mentor the CEO and tell him, hey guys, this is what you need to do. Put a pool table here and there, etc., etc." You know how much that will do to the business morale, the workers and improvement of, of productivity as a whole, all because of you being there and having put your own mind. Yeah? So you will, you will help that business increase, you know, their employee engagement. There's so much that we take for granted that we don't realize that we actually know a whole lot more than the people we want to put us on. 
Yeah. So, you know, it, when, when employee engagement levels rise, that increases productivity, that increases profits. All right. This is the only reason why people are in business to actually make a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if you're the person that's helping them achieve that, and if they can write you a testimonial for you being the person that has made them be, do, and have that which they want, guys, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not about where you are in life. It's about what you know and what you do with what you know. We've been consuming and consuming content. And, and, and a lot of um, the, the bigger CEOs have been working and working. It's time to do that swap. All right, but you also, you know what I mean? You might be thinking, oh, how are people going to take me seriously? You got to also present yourself in a way that people will take you seriously, that you do know what you're talking about, that you do know what you, you, you have. You know what I mean? You see, maybe you're still a student, you know, but if you are polished and you're poised and you're professional, you can actually get the respect that you deserve as an entrepreneur. Do you know what I mean? You know what your end goal is. You know it's going to take a while for you to actually get to where you want. But if you use people to put you on, if you use those people that are already established, those that are already doing stuff, all right, it will help you be, do, and have a business that is actually worth talking about in the future. Yeah? You see, the thing is, I'm talking to people that really want it. Okay, if you don't really want it, this might not be a video. If you don't really, really want it, you might not even register what's going on right now. It's time to change the, 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 the paradigm. It's time to change the dynamic. I also want to know something. If you're watching this right now, whether it's live or post-production, can you just type in where you're checking in from and I can see um, the statistics within your country to see if this is something that you can use or if this is something that you can do. Okay, so if you if you think you're too young or you know you possibly um, um, can't reach out to these people, then you don't know how you, you you're not going to be successful in your own business. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a few people that that are uh, afraid of what's called the imposter syndrome. Okay, if you you know quite a lot of information, you have no idea. Everyone has been reading all those books uh, online. Uh, Everyone has read some sort of a book and within those pages, there's so much information that you can relate to somebody. And before you know it, you've got days and days to, to, to research on how you can base, basically be of value to that other business. Okay, so some people are afraid that, um, you know, you might start trying to do this and then people will say, ah, call me in a few years. Well, it, it, it may be because of how you have uh, presented yourself to said people. You know? You know, a, a few people might just be very, very afraid of reaching out to all the guys. But, guys, you already know enough to not be afraid. Okay? These people don't even know how to tweet or Facebook or whatever, you are already miles ahead of them technologically. So all you got to do is transfer that knowledge in, into, into practical reality that can then benefit you. The worst you could leave off with is a testimonial. And they might, I'm not saying go out there and look for a job or, or whichever way. Don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is look for people that might use your expertise so that you can reverse mentor them. All right. Your age ain't nothing but just a number. And that's the same for all those other people that are, you know, maybe you might be really, really old. Search for younger people that can help you get ahead. All right. Have you ever heard the story of um, Yahoo? Yahoo, the, um, uh, the Internet browser. All right. At some point, Google went across to them and said, hey, listen, uh, guys, um, you know, we've got this search engine. Can you buy us? And then um, Yahoo laughed at them and we're like, oh, call us, call us, call us when you've got pants on. Yeah. And then, you know what? 10, 15 years later, where's Yahoo? Where's Google? All right. So what, whatever situation is happening right now, people need to at least reflect where they are and where they really, really want to be. Okay. So also, whoever is going to be going into this whole, um, what was that? Search engine, not browser. Ah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, she using Yahoo or browser or I don't know or Google. I, I don't know how they call it these days, but yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and where is Netscape browser? Yeah, pretty much. P companies like Kodak, the and Nokia. They did not listen to what the younger people would have doing. Can you imagine if Nokia went on and and and, and looked at Steve Jobs and said, "Listen, Steve Jobs, let's work together." Can you imagine where they could be right now? You know, instead they then you know you know sell off a little bit later. Even um, what's that um, video shop? Uh, the one that refused to buy Netflix. What's that blockbuster? Blockbuster also refused to buy Netflix, but now look who is king. All right, so never underestimate where you are right now and never, even if somebody says no to you, that gives you an opportunity to go and help out somebody else who would need you. All right, and all you need right now, guys, is a testimonial, some sort of experience so that when you do make the break, when you do strike it hot, that's when it's all going to be relevant. Okay, I mean, obviously, it's going to be the weekend right now. I'm talking about, you know, reverse mentorship and how you can actually craft yourself into somebody that people would think you're an authority. There's a few things that have to happen behind the scenes for somebody to actually start knowing, um, you know, you know, start, start respecting you. All right. You can still use the online prosperity blueprint to actually, you know, go out there and search for these people. Figure out what sort of companies or what sort of industry you want to associate with. Find out what their biggest pain is, okay? And then what payoff would they get after working with you or having an experience with you? And then what product are they selling or what product do you want them to sell, etc., etc. okay? Pretty much after that, start creating content or things like this, a Facebook Live, blogs, YouTube videos, to engage those people so that they know that you're the person that they can know, like, and trust to help them with that information. Educate them on what's happening, what's current, and what is possible, okay? And you're providing them value without asking for a lot. You're inspiring them to want more than you're the reverse uh, mentor for them, and you're positioning your brand, yourself, and your business for the future, all right? So essentially after that, all you're doing, once you've got all this in place, you know, you're solving problems, you're not selling anymore. You've got an online marketing strategy that's already working for you and you've got a few calls to action when people are ready to actually engage with you. All right. And then pretty much from there, you're creating authority that no one can ever take away from you. You're branding your business because once you start associating with the big boys, they know people that know something about a lot of things. You've created a community of uh, support people that are going to help you. And now you've got brand loyalty and ambassadors. And I like this part especially because those are the people that will talk about you at the golf club. Those are the people that will talk about you, um, you know, at the... Um, at, uh, at, at the barbecue and people that will talk about you when they're chilling on the weekend. Okay, if you want this blueprint, just type in blueprint and I'll show you exactly how you too can actually start reverse mentoring all these people to be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay, so I mean, I mean, obviously, it's a very new concept. A lot of people might not even understand what I'm talking about. And a lot of people have sort of left because it sounds like hard work. But I know if you're going to take this and run with it, okay, this is going to be something that will change the way you look at things, that will change the way you business, and it will actually make you a stronger person, you actually have a better attitude, etc., etc., okay? So you, you will gain a lot of confidence because you know why? Your expertise is now being used by companies that are way bigger than you ever thought to yourself. And it's so easy for you to get that credibility on the street. You can do it for free, a couple of calls over the weekend, etc., etc., in exchange for a testimonial. And before you know it, you've already earned street credit. Okay? So, you know, you got to present yourself in a way that people will start respecting you and then... You can be, do, and have all of these things. It's so simple. And gone are the days where you're going to have to wait for people to, to put you on. All right? We've got all this capacity to actually reach out to influencers, to reach out to people that have businesses that we can actually um, emulate and, and, and go in and reverse mentor them. But I don't think we're doing enough.
All right. So it's it's so simple. We we know how to reach out to these people. We know what's currently working. There's two billion people now on Facebook. You gotta make sure that you're marking your territory. You're carving your own ground, and you're not waiting for anyone to put you on. You've already got the knowledge. You already got the expertise. You already have the know-how of how these things should work. Now, why would you keep waiting for somebody to actually come and show you how they did it? All right. So maybe you're still a student, or maybe you're still a very young entrepreneur. You know, be polished, be poised, be professional, and you will get the respect that you deserve. And go out there and start fishing for people that you can reverse mentor, so that you can put your business out there without expecting somebody to come down and say, "Hey, listen, I think I'm gonna buy from you now." All right. If you want any of this out of the box uh, sort of topics, guys, like I said, download the blueprint or just. Continue in the in the in the in the in the chat there. I'll be there to speak to you. Now this is the last um, video of the month of the week. All right. I'll see you guys next month, which is gonna be on Monday. All right. It feels good to say that, right? I hope you guys are gonna have a fantastic weekend, and thank you so much. Every single one of you guys for the support. Thank you so much, every single one of you guys for sharing this content. Thank you so much, every single one of you guys for for the confidence that you now have in this, and for the confidence that you're giving me every single day, so that I can show up and give you all this content. Okay. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. Please、um, share this content and tag a friend that might find this beneficial. Okay, because even if you're still young, if you become polished and if you're showing all the right,、um, you know, kind of、uh, aspects and everything else, and your poise and everything else is working for you, you can actually become a winner in your industry by reverse mentoring the people that are already there. All right. In the meantime, enjoy your weekend and thank you so much, guys.